So in the Department of Aeronautics, we've got a unique breadth of expertise in a wide range of disciplines. So yes, we do the conventional Formula One cars, high-speed planes, high-speed trains, but we also have a much more diverse portfolio of research. Everything from flow around buildings, high-performance sports like cycling, but also space and access to space. We even apply the same tools and methods to study uh, the airflow and the blood flow around the human body. So here at Imperial, at the Department of Aeronautics, we've got a number of experimental facilities. So this is the 10 by 5 wind tunnel. In the lower section, uh, at the downstream end, we've got a part of the city of London, and we're looking at um, pedestrian safety and comfort. So my colleagues are taking measurements uh, around the streets, uh, with and without uh, a proposed development. And this actually we are looking at whether this new proposed development causes dangerous wind speeds, uncomfortable wind speeds um, at street level. So we've done uh, quite a few projects uh, with the aeronautics department in the Temba 5 wind tunnel, uh, which are ideally suited for environmental flow simulation and small scale model testing. There are many unique things about this facility, which is, which is uh, <coughs> what makes it ideally suited for our work. Because this technology is available to us here in this facility, we can now take it to looking at wind flows around buildings and large scale structures, looking at uh, entire flow field in a way that we would not have been using traditional measurement technology that are proprietary to the wind engineering sector. Simultaneously, uh, more upstream in the lower section, we have a second team. They're setting up a particle image velocimetry system, a PIV system, laser based diagnostics, uh, stereo vision, so it gives them three components, UVW of velocity, uh, in a time-resolved fashion. And they are setting that up for a research project. Uh, we have a third team that is in the, in the, upper, in the upper section. And they are setting up a, a cycling rig. This is related to the study of transmission of, of SARS-like viruses. We are trying to understand and provide guidelines of what is safe social distancing while people are doing sports. We've got uh, two smaller wind tunnels called T1 and T2, um, one square meter cross section and about two square meter cross section. We've got a flume, that's a water, a water tunnel. So our flume here at Imperial College London is a highly flexible facility which is well optimised to make measurements of both velocity and scalar. We can do um, very similar experiments in our flume that we can do in the wind tunnels except effectively we've slowed everything down by 10 times. So if we want to make really highly temporally resolved measurements then the flume is perfect. Uh, one of our newest, most advanced facilities is the Hiralal Patel supersonic wind tunnel which has a unique range of operating capabilities up to Mach 5 and across a range of uh, test capabilities which allow us to model everything from satellites re-entering the Earth's atmosphere to high-speed ejection tests. Our hypersonic tunnel has been around for decades and for the last 50 years it's really been at the forefront of some of the pioneering advances in hypersonics aerodynamics and that's still the case today. The hypersonic tunnel allows us to test objects up to Mach 9 so some of the experimental high-speed research we do uh, looks at the interaction between flexible structures in high-speed flows. So more and more designers are making their structures more lightweight, and as you make a structure lightweight, it becomes more flexible, and how that interacts with the high-speed aerodynamics is a real challenge for designers. So one topic we're interested in that's a little bit beyond the conventional aeronautics topics is access to space. Well, we have some fantastic uh, state-of-the-art facilities in the Space Research Lab. Uh, so one of those is a, a large uh, 2 meter by 1.5 meter diameter vacuum chamber. So this replicates the conditions of being in space. And what we particularly use this vacuum environment for is to test our spacecraft propulsion systems. There's no wind in space, uh, but what we use the supersonic wind tunnel for is testing re-entry vehicles. So we could see how when they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere exactly how they behave uh, and the characteristics of the flow field around them. So the Department of Aeronautics brings together this range of wind tunnels and other facilities uh, and the personnel to run them to really create a centre for excellence for aerodynamics research. Well, the combination of the design of the facility 
our expertise here at Imperial College London and the equipment that we have in terms of the high-speed lasers and cameras makes it the perfect facility for a broad range of experimental fluid mechanics applications. What's very key is uh, the academic and technical support that we get with this facility. And so if, as a research and design community, uh, we want to continue to deliver state-of-the-art uh, buildings, we need cutting-edge facilities such as the 10 by 5 wind tunnel facility to allow us to give the right information to designers in the technical detail that they needed. So we have a unique relationship and collaboration with many industry partners and there's opportunities to collaborate with them in undergraduate teaching and, and projects especially. It actually feeds research top down and the effects we observe during these uh, commercial tests, they actually feed down into fundamental research. And of course we sit right in the heart of London. So that connectivity, the people, that's what Imperial is all about.